Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. This is Leroy Kenton here. This video is going to be a pretty interesting one. It's of a Japanese scientist that accepts Islam because of one verse in the Quran. Now, of course, curiosity got the best of me. I want to know what this verse is that really changes Japanese scientists. So let's take a look at this video right now, and then I'm going to share some of my thoughts at the end. Today, we're going to talk about a renowned professor from Kia University in Japan, Dr. Rakuda. He's a great inspiration for the people of Japan, and his attitude sets him apart from everyone else. He talked about his interest in Islam in an Arabic interview, and how he finally converted, saying that it was the greatest gift from Allah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Dr. Rakuda was in his sixth year of college when he began exploring Deen of Islam. It was in this year that he attended a lecture on Islamic legislation and developed a keen interest in it. However, at this point, he did not know much about Islam. He says he didn't even know how to approach people. That is because his life before Islam was one of arrogance and egocentrism. All of that changed when he began studying Islam thoroughly. His interest in Islamic legislation was only to the point where he would compare it to the other religious legislations and study it deeply. One day, he came across a research paper with the ayah, and indeed, we created man from sounding clay of altered black smooth mud, 1526. Mm. It was only then when his entire perspective about life, humankind, and Islam changed. Wow. This verse from the Holy Quran changed him from the core. He realized how he had been at fault all his life, treating people with arrogance when they were made from the same mud. It would be safe to say this ayah made him the humble man he is today. Having learned the secret to being a good man, Dr. Rakuda's heart was finally at peace. He felt better about himself and he could develop conversations and meaningful connections with people after all. Islam became his light of guidance even before he entered it. He then decided to go to Aleppo to learn Arabic and more about Islam. His teacher there was a very humble person and inspired Dr. Rakuda to become a Muslim. It happened on a hot summer afternoon. He was at the mosque with his teacher, going over several documentations. Suddenly, the muezzin called for prayer. Here in the Adhan, Dr. Rakuda became very uncomfortable and decided it was best to leave the mosque. He was not a Muslim after all. Why should I stay there when I'm not a Muslim? He wondered. However, this wasn't just a simple question. He pondered over it. The heat of the sun had sweat dripping down his face, and he speculated if he was here learning about Islam and Arabic from a Syrian Muslim teacher, why was he not a Muslim yet? With his mind racing with questions, he finally decided to convert to Islam. According to him, it was the greatest gift from Allah in his entire life. However, he did not announce his conversion to Islam. He did not know what to say. He wondered how he would handle being Japanese and a Muslim together. He kept his conversation a secret for some time until he was ready to announce it. Dr. Rakuda used to be a strict man before his conversion. His students thought he was very stern. However, at the time of teaching his Arabic class, he found to be the humblest and kind-hearted man. He cared about his students and paid great attention to their needs. Through his kind and humble persona, he was able to inspire several students who were in his class. They were all greatly impressed with Dr. Rakuda's attitude and realized that the reason behind it was none other than Islam. While studying Islam and Arabic with him, 10 students chose to follow the path of Allah, the path of righteousness. All of this happened because Dr. Rakuda decided to embrace Islam to its fullest. He became an embodiment of a true Muslim. According to him, Islam encourages you to learn and gain more knowledge. Islam encourages you to explore and discover. The Qur'an gives us basic ideas, but it is up to us how we interpret them. Dr. Rakuda is a man of principles, and his principles lie in the framework of Islam. He wishes to become what Allah destined for a good Muslim to be. He wishes to understand the Qur'an wholly and fully, just like Allah wants. When asked about his favorite part of the Qur'an, he says it's the word path of righteousness. It not only indicates a path laid out by Allah for Muslims, it also describes the right path for humankind to follow. The deep meaning behind this phrase and its message for the human race makes it so significant and Dr. Rakuda's favorite. He says, 
If we all follow the path of righteousness, we can come together as a peaceful world. Dr. Ritsuchi Kamal Akuda is an inspiration for all. He has been playing a vital role in spreading the message of Islam in Japan. While the spread of Islam in Japan is slow due to the gap between Islam and Japan for 100 years, he feels Islam will steadily make its place in Japan. Dr. Wakuda inspires people not with his words, but his personality, his actions and his commands. He has submitted himself to Allah completely and wishes to lead a life that will make him happy. Dr. Wakuda feels he has a lot to learn about Islam and this is only the beginning of his journey. His attitude of modesty, kindness and submission to God has made him an entirely different man than he was before. He thinks it's a blessing to have had the chance to embrace Islam in his life and he hopes he can give other people around the same blessing. His persistent yet simple style of educating his peers and students alike about Islam has helped convert many of them to Islam and he hopes to keep being the beacon of hope and light for everyone else around him. Dr. Rakuda's life is a great example of how a kind attitude can do miracles and change the world entirely. It's so interesting how one phrase can just change somebody's life completely. They may be seeing life in a different way, like, you know, this scientist, he saw people as, you know, beneath him. He is like a professor as well. He's teaching people, he's above them. So he's, you know, very, very, very arrogant about that. And then he saw the verse in the Quran where everybody's made from the same material. So you're all on the same level, bro. <laughs> and that's when it, it clicked for him. Like, oh, how can I think I'm better than somebody when we're made of the same exact material? That is just mind blowing, you know? And it's so true. It's like, how could I think I'm better than somebody? How can you think you're better than somebody? Y'all came from the exact same creator and made of the exact same material. Blood is the same. I know there's different blood types, but that's not what I mean. There's still blood inside of our bodies. Uh, we're still made of the same material, different colors, maybe different textures a little. Some of us have a little bit more hair than others and whatnot, different uh, f features like uh, lips and all of that. But you know, you're from the same source, the same substance. We're, we're equal in that sense. And that was it. That was a change his life. Got him to be so humble and you're relating to people. And it made him have more, you know, meaningful connections with people because they're the same, you know? So this was such an inspiring video to see how he went from somebody that was so, you know, mean and, and, and arrogant and to somebody that is just uh, put special attention and care into his students and made sure that they got the best out of what he was teaching them and what they were learning. And they noticed a big change and that influenced them. They were like, what's up with this guy? You know, he's changed. What is it? They found out that it was Islam. He found uh, Islam and he embraced it. And uh, because of that, he led other students to Islam. I think this is a, an amazing, amazing, amazing story. There's no, there's like, there's no, you know, compulsion there. It's just somebody living out something that they found genuinely in their heart. And it made a big impact, made a big difference for, for other people. And he also said that his favorite passage in the Quran is saying that the Quran is, or the Islam is the path of righteousness, that like it, it's a journey, but not just for Muslims, but for all of humanity, that it's like a path that can be followed. And you know, some of us may be up here on the path and back on the path, whatever. The bottom line is it's the, you know, the path and wherever we are on the path is, is is different but hey if we're all made of the same material we're all from the same source and we're equal then there's no i'm better than you you're better than me it's just we're all here from the same substance same source same creator and we're on the same exact path regardless of where we are on that path you could say like you're on different paths on the same path but yeah very 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 uh good inspiring uh, story it just goes to show how yeah reading just that one thing just that one moment can be so life-changing and who knows maybe people viewed this this uh, science 
professor as somebody who was like maybe had no hope oh he's just how he is but no you know he changed and he's impacted people's life so much and uh, they experience benefit from him so all power to him you know you never know how people are gonna go which way they're gonna go when it's gonna happen you know it's just uh it just it will happen and i think more and more and more um people are i would say maybe waking up to spirituality waking up to the acknowledgement of god waking up to human connection and human relationship and uh really looking to build a community and it's one of my favorite things to see honestly people getting along people having open communication uh, regardless of their background. So I'm really glad for this guy that he was able to find uh, truth for himself and be led on a path where he's a lot more useful to society now. So it's just good, all in all good. All right guys, I'm finished with this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you made it this far. If you did, don't forget to leave a like before you go. Also, if you're new here to FTD Speaks, you know exactly what to do. Well, I, I hope you do. Subscribe, ring the bell so you know when new videos are posted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.